Well, everybody, I got some bad news. I'm going to have a moment of silence for one of my power jacks. Uh, the inevitable happened. Although, it's not that big a deal. But when you have 580 to 590 to 600 watts of power coming in your house, and you live here in the land of Florida Flicker and Flash, these things turn off and on so many times, eventually the little uh, DAC MOF set went out. So anyway, I'll uh, take a video of that and be repairing it. I've got the parts on the way. Well, it's a shame. It's making damn good power. That's the one that used to be on top, 30 volts, is now taking uh, the duty. And that one also had an issue with the fan coming on very late. Uh, it's about 20 degrees hotter harder than the other one fan, which is this guy on the bottom. That one's a turn on quicker all the time. Alright, I'll get back and update in a little while. Or do I miss that coming in? Oh well. The bottom one there is still searching around. I just uh, tweaked it a little bit. They did a good job, obviously. That one's right on the money. Hi, right, good morning. Uh, I just got my parts for my uh, power jack that failed, 1200. And then when you get these things, you get this little pretty much useless uh, owner's manual that really just tells you how to fix these things after they fail, which is, you know, doesn't instill a great bit of confidence in you. But anyway, quick way to test these, you know, an easy way. Is if you have it on your beeper, your continuity, and you take your black tip and go to ground, and if it does this, that one's no good. This one doesn't make noise. That one doesn't make noise. That one doesn't make noise. That's a good thing. Then switch over to diode. This will actually give you a reading. And this side of the uh, board is different. Line is a bat. Okay, so it's ass backwards. You'll get, a, you'll get a reading when you touch these two little legs. Six. Let me get the right ones. Six twenty-six. Six twenty-four. And they switch on this side. 623. And then watch this one. 05. That one's got a short. And I don't know if you can see it, but I got that one marked with red tape. And that is a Fairchild G60N100 BNTD. Alright, so I'm going to get my trusty little solder and iron there that, and uh, yank that puppy out. Be back in the second one and get it up. Okay, here it is. Uh, I replaced the MOSFET. MOSFET. I'm going to do a little test now. Make sure it's uh, where it's supposed to be. As so I can get my uh, vision back. There we go. That's ground. Thirteen. Okay, it's uh, 
thing is, it's Tuesday. May 28th, I think. It's my uh, Power Jack 1200 watt that was down due to the blown MOSFET. I got the parts in today and uh, installed it. And lo and behold, the trooper is back up and running. And hopefully, she'll stay that way. So, anyway, it's uh, taken a while to get there, but I want to thank uh, Ronnie Freeman for using God's free energy once again, came through for me and uh, took care of this problem. So anyway, it's back up and running and hopefully it'll stay that way. I need to buy one more and I'll be happy. Okay, so that concludes the uh, problem with the MOSFET issue and uh, how to test them and install them. Alright, that's it. Hope I got that date right. If not, I'll uh, fill in the blanks. 3, 4, 8, 5, things are looking good. Alright, that's it. I'm a happy guy. Okay.